Hey guys, and welcome back to me putting my balls inside of your mouth. Hey guys, and welcome back for episode 20, where I'm going to be putting my balls inside of your mouth. Hey guys, and welcome back for episode 20. For those of you joining for the first time, I am not going to be putting my balls inside of anybody's mouth. Hey guys, and welcome back for episode 20. For those of you joining for the first time, I am making a hotline Miami inspired lo-fi samurai game. Lo-fi meaning this kind of art style mixed together with this kind of music and taking inspiration from classics like Samurai Champ Blue. Now let's take a look at what kind of sick shit I've been up to with the game's development this week. You're going to be smashing through doors to get into rooms and initiate fights. You're going to dash through enemies in order to kill them, and every time you dash you lose energy, every time you kill an enemy you gain energy, so you're going to make sure you don't miss. If you run out of energy, you can't dash, so now what do you do? Well, you got items. You'll find and pick up items, they come in stacks, and they have no cooldown and they don't cost any energy. So you can use them to save yourself when you run out of energy, you can also use them just to make fights easier, and you can also use them to increase your style so that you get a little bit more points for your score. Alternatively, there will also be objects in the environment like tables and chairs and so on that you can kick just by running into them, and if you hit an enemy with them, you also regain your energy and you'll knock down and stun that enemy for a little bit. But be careful, because enemies can do the exact same thing to you. It's possible to dodge them by staying on the move, but the real key is to stay aggressive and on the offensive because you can break through objects that have been thrown at you by dashing through them just like you do with the enemies. Enemies are a bit smarter now. Instead of running straight at you, they try to get to nearby positions around you first so that they have more of a swarm and flanking kind of feeling. And finally, putting it all together, what you're seeing here is the prototype for the game's first level. I do want the game to be hard, but I might have to tone it down a little bit. We'll see how people feel when we get to play testing. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please, please. Game's looking unreal. This is undoubtedly the final version of the game's gameplay design. A little rough around the edges, but I just gotta smooth some things out. And from here on out, it's gonna be clear sailing. What was the saying? Clear skies, clear scale, clear. Well, whatever, you get my point. In other news, let's talk about New Year's. What did you guys get up to? I had an absolutely fucking wild night bro okay i had like three beers it's crazy now i'll tell you guys about my new year's resolutions i've got two of them number one improve my sleep schedule i go to bed way too late and i wake up way too late some of you may have noticed that in half of my videos i look like a decrepit zombie and now you understand why and number two no more social media. Social media is such a subtle addiction too, isn't it? Sometimes I'll just be sitting there working away on my game. Next thing I know, I've got a browser tab open and I'm balls deep in an argument about whether the color blue is better than the color red. Other addictions aren't like that. Like in the past, I struggled a little bit with being a degenerate stoner, for example. But that's something that you have to kind of plan out, right? You're sitting there working during the day and you're thinking to yourself, like, all right, later tonight, I'm going to have myself a nice joint. It's not like I'm sitting there working away on my game and all of a sudden it just pops up out of nowhere. So let me know what kind of New Year's resolutions you guys got. I'm curious to know what other people are struggling with. Well, that's it for this week, guys. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Welcome to 2024, where I'm going to make a kick-ass game, and you guys are going to watch me make it and play it and also accomplish whatever dope shit you're up to in your own life. If you want regular weekly updates on the game or you just want to be a cool person, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys again here next week. Peace.